I'm Jim from Jim Wax. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the design and engineering work that went into the creation of the Ares Lacrosse Head by Jewel Lacrosse. This is not a review. This is more of a behind the scenes look at the thought processes that went into the creation of the Ares Lacrosse Head. This is the second of a three part series, and in this video, I'm going to be talking primarily about the stringability of the Ares Head. I want to talk about the whole placement, the whole size, and I want to talk a little bit about the mid rail which is something that hasn't been seen in this sport before. The Ares is, far and away, the most customizable head on the market when it comes to stringability. The Ares features six large top string holes along its scoop. These holes were made large enough so that you could string any top string you desire and you can string it with either sidewall or the thicker top string. Additionally, the middle two holes on the scoop, which on most heads are either non-existent or simply there for aesthetic reasons, were designed for traditional players in mind. They're spaced and sized so that you can string traditional pockets on these four inner holes if you so choose. Heads that have peaks along the back sidewall rails constrain the stringer. For instance, it's hard to put a low pocket on a head that has a mid peak or a mid pocket on a head that has a high peak. The Aries has no peak, so it's completely up to you where you want to place your pocket. The Ares is the first head ever to feature two fully stringable sidewall rails. In addition to the traditional back rail which features 17 sidewall holes, the Ares has a mid rail which features its own 11 sidewall holes. Pocket legality is determined by how the ball sits relative to the back sidewall rail. Essentially when you hold the head sideways, the tip of the ball needs to be just above the bottom of the back sidewall rail. However, if you were to string a pocket on the mid rail, your mesh pocket would actually be much deeper because the only thing that's important is the ball relative to the bottom rail, not the mid rail. The ability to string deep pockets off the mid rail is really just scratching the surface of what's possible when it comes to stringing in Aries. This mid rail is going to open up stringing possibilities that we didn't even foresee and we're really excited to see what the stringing community can come up with. Finally, while it's difficult to get on camera, the bottom holes of the Aries sit on a 45 degree angle relative to the surface that the ball stop usually sits on. This allows the bottom strings to come out at a more natural angle towards the pocket, which reduces drag and wear and tear on the bottom strings. If you're interested in the Aries head, please head over to www.jewelacross.com where you can find additional information about the Aries as well as the option to purchase one. If you'd like to check one out in your local lacrosse specialty store, Please ask them to bring one in as a demo head. Jimalax has relationships with most stores out there, and we'd be happy to send one into the store, but they need you to ask to want to see it.